Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on configuring a toggle button on a user form in Microsoft Excel. So I have here an Excel workbook that has two user form projects. One green here that uses a toggle button and then one in blue that uses a checkbox. Instructions on how to build this user form are featured in another video named configuring a checkbox on an Excel user form. So what I'm going to do in this video is to show you how to change the former user form, the blue one, into this one that has the toggle button. So it achieves the same functionality which is to add data to this data set here on the left onto the worksheet and to be able to switch to an award for a particular educational level if you need to for a particular participant. The original form, the one I'm going to change, does the same thing, it just uses a checkbox. So if you have, say for participant 1003, they have a bachelor's degree uh, and they have an award, you check that, double click bachelor's degree and come up and say you have 1004 that does not have an award but also has a bachelor's degree you double click and it'll come up no. So both of these user forms accomplish the same goal this one uses a checkbox the other one uses a toggle button. So let's move to the code view alt F11 and you can see I have the two forms here um, on the left, the main form, and this is what I want to get to uh, with this form, which is just named main form 2. So I'm going to convert this user form over to a toggle button design. So first I'm going to open uh, the code view by double clicking on the WISP box because right now that is where all the code is stored. So you can see this is fairly straightforward code. Uh, the active cell value is equal to the list box one value, so whichever one you double click on, because this is a list box double click, uh, that'll come up in the active cell, and then it'll evaluate the checkbox. If it's true, it'll offset by one cell to the right and populate the value yes, if not no, and then it'll reset the value of the checkbox, and then it'll move the active cell one row down. So first let's configure the actual controls on the user form. So we can delete the checkbox, we won't need that anymore. We want to add the toggle button which is the third control over on the second row of the toolbox here. And the properties for the toggle button, let's change the back color to red and the caption to no award. And that's really all the changes we need to make on the actual user form in terms of controls. Now the controls are the same, we just have to get them to function the same now. So changing the properties for the list box double click code is actually fairly straightforward. Uh, simply where checkbox 1 is typed, we'll just put in toggle button 1. So I'll copy this and then paste it down here as well. So just as you'd reset the checkbox, you'd reset the toggle button. And the toggle button and the checkbox work in a similar fashion. If the toggle button 1 is true, it'll populate the yes, and if not, the no, just as it did with the checkbox. And if you want to reset the toggle button back to the default state we have here, which was no award, that it was not depressed, then you want false. So let's just take a look here at what it looks like. This is the old one, and this is the one I'm working on. You can see when you press this, that's depressed and then you cook it again and it comes up. It kind of has like a little 3D effect there. So moving back to the code view, 
Now we're going to need some more code, another subroutine behind the change for the toggle button. Not the click, but the change. So we'll go down here under the first subroutine and we'll select toggle button one and then change. See at first it defaults to click, but we want change. So this sub will run every time the toggle button is changed. So I'm going to delete the empty click subroutine. We're going to focus on the change one. And we're going to start with uh, an if then else statement. Actually, that's all we'll have for this subroutine is an if then else statement. So you have if toggle button one value equals true. So if it's pushed down, the button's pushed down, then we want a couple things to happen. The first is I'm just going to copy the toggle button one here just to save time. The first is toggle button one caption will change so it's displayed on the actual toggle button to equal award. So instead of no award it'll say award. And then we're also going to change the back color. So toggle button one back color, we're going to change that to green, which would be VB green in VBA. Then for the else, it's toggle button one caption equals no award. and then the back color would be set to red. So toggle button one, back color equals, and red is VB red. And don't forget here we need an end if, and that should do it. So we have, we just changed checkbox one, the toggle button one, in two places here in the list box one double click and then added this if then else statement. So let's see how this functions. So I left off here at 1005. I'm going to use the new uh, form, main form 2. So let's say we have somebody with a master's degree without an award. So we'll just double click. That comes up correctly. Let's say we have somebody with a bachelor's degree that does have an award, so we'll change no award to award. And notice how it changes the color and the caption. So double click bachelor's degree and it does have the award. If you double click it again, of course, it'll come back to the default no award. Now the way I have this configured presumes that most of the participants will not have an award, that the award is a low probability event. If you had more participants with awards than participants without awards, you'd want to flip this around so the default was uh, issuing an award, you know, putting the yes in the award uh, column uh, instead of a no. But we're going to presume that uh, no is the most common value for award, so it's going to default back to no award. So you could just continue to populate, and when you stumble upon a participant that has an award, right, toggle button, to press the toggle button, and it'll come right up. So as you can see, you can achieve uh, the same functionality with the toggle button as you did the checkbox. It does it does the same thing, but one of the things I like about the toggle button uh, is the ability to change the caption and the color in a way that stands out a little more. Now you can do the same thing with the checkbox. You can change the back color, you could change the color of the font, you could change the caption, uh, but it seems to be a little more effective with this particular type of change using the toggle button, making it a little easier for the user to understand uh, what they're selecting and what's going to happen when they double click on the particular degree. This method has a, an effect that's more visually noticeable with the red and green uh, than the way I had the checkbox configured. I hope you found this video on configuring a toggle button on user form in Excel to be helpful. 
As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.